Hi, I'm Rebi Ben. I'll explain the basic elements of Warframe, the mods. If you are a beginner and you are having trouble, this tutorial will help you. Let's take a quick look. Mods are cards that can be installed on your equipment to enhance it. Let's compare the performance of a weapon with a mod and a weapon without any mod. Now you can see the difference. This means that, in the Warframe, by installing mods on your equipment, you can make it much stronger. Mods have a name, equipable item, the effect of the mod, the cost and polarity. This information will give you a general idea of the mod's performance. The more you enhance a mod, the more it will perform and the more it will cost. Mods can be reused, so you only need to enhance them once. Let's take a look at how to upgrade it. To enhance that mod, go to the mod module, select the mod, select this tab, and spend credits and endo. The best place to earn credit is on the Neptune Index mission. However, until you reach Neptune, the excavation missions are the way to go. It is also a good place to get endo in the beginning. You can do the Ayatam mission once a week in the Maru's Bazaar. In the Ayatam mission, you can get Ayatam statues. This can be exchanged for ends in Maru's Bazaar. If you want to change it for more endo, you can add stars to it. If you see that icon in a mission, Pick it up with context action. These are the Ayatan stars. Open the menu and go to the mods under equipment. Then select Ayatan treasures and enter the screen where you can add stars. There are other ways to farm endo, but the video is too long. Now, no matter how enhanced the mod is, it's useless if you don't install it. Let's take a look at how to install a mod. To install the mod, go to Arsenal and select the Upgrade section. This is the screen where you will install the mod. Select the mod from the bottom and place it in the frame to equip it. You can't have the same or conflicting effects in this box. And put more mods in your equipment than capacity. You will be able to enhance your equipment by adding various mods within the cost range. In some cases, there is a special mark on the frame where you can add mods. This is the polarity mark, which is also on the mod. If you match it, the cost will be halved. The polarity can be added by enhancing items. Let's take a look at, at the enhancement in Warframe. To enhance your equipment, you can use the former, the Orkin Reactor, the Orkin Catalyst, the Warframe Exiles Adapter, and Weapon Exiles Adapter. The former is the item that give you the polarity we mentioned earlier. To get it, you will need to go to the Fisher mission and open the relic. I'll talk about relic in the other tutorial. There are two variations of the former. The amber former and the aura former. Amber formers can be made by completing the steel pass and aura formers can be made by completing the arbitration mission. The reactor and catalyst can be obtained by completing the night wave. These two will double the cost in the mod screen. Warframe x adapter can be obtained from the Sephiroth Simaris. You can get the weapon x adapters from the Syndicate. The x adapter opens up a mod slot. These items can be used by pressing the bottom here. Then, choose which item do you use. When you use former, you should choose the polarity. 
Let's decide on the polarity to be attached. Former can be used to max rank equipment. If you want to use former, earn the affinity. After you upgrade your equipment in such a way, let's install the mod. Let's take a look at some of the mods that will help you in the early stages of Warframe. The first two are Vitality and Redirection. Vitality increases your health and Redirection increases your seals. It will increase the durability of your Warframe. You can get these mods from Grunier Lancer and Grunier Elite Lancer. Next is Heration. You can get this as a reward for survival missions. It will increase the firepower of your primary weapon. So, be sure to install it when you get it. Once you've progressed, you will also want to install Split Chamber, which you can get from the bosses of Saturn and Europa. There are mods to increase the firepower of secondary weapons and shotguns. You can get them from the bounty missions in Cetus. If you haven't get them, you should do it. Don't forget about the pressure point. This mod increases the damage of melee weapon. You can get it from the Grenier. There are other powerful mods in Warframe, such as Corrupted Mod, Primed Mod, and Ribbon Mod. I'll be explaining them in other videos in the future, as there are many and special ways to get them. This is an overview of the mod system. In this Revipen channel, I upload the tutorial videos of Warframe. If you have many questions about Warframe, please subscribe to my channel and comment. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.